Look how bored I am. Look how confused this camera is. Ooh. Oh, my eyes. Oh, no. Well, that was fun. Man, that really will mess your eyes up. It's so much fun. I gotta like not. I gotta put this closer to me so I can remember that it exists. I only find it when I remove enough of a stack of papers to uh, reveal it again. It's got a bunch of papers on top of it. In fact, right now, even papers are trying to find their way <sighs> on top of it to hide it. Hello, hi. Hmm. Cheers. It's Wednesday, hump day. 6.09 p.m. It is 80 degrees. 80 degrees at 6 p.m. Today's high was 85. Today's dew point is 55, which means relative humidity is about 40%. Just barely okay. I mean, 80 degrees. We don't need that. My hair looks awful. I had to rush. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. First of all, as promised, there's no hope for my hair. Corporate shirt. It was team photo day. So here's how it came out after I whisked it. You can hardly tell. There's a there's a few spots. I don't even know if they'll show up. Can you see that where my pinky is? That's kind of a spot. But like you have to really look for it in order to see it. So we came out okay. And that mouse pad is gone and gone. Long gone with the trash last week. <sighs> but the team photo was at 10, and I ended up driving like a maniac to make it by 10. Because I had to have clean hair. Even though it probably ended up looking ragged and still wet. So who knows how well that turned out. But we still haven't seen the team photos, so who knows? I ended up in back anyway. I'm one of the, I'm on the tall half. So it was the tall half and then the shorter half. So really, I probably end up looking kind of like this with like dudes in front of me. But that's fine. That's, you know, that's how, that's how it works. I'm just happy to be a part of the team. Which team? America's Net Backup Backline Support Team. We're not supposed to use NBU as a abbreviation acronym for net backup because it stands for, it also stands for some, ooh, what is it, Nokia product, Novell product. If I Google NBU, does net backup come up? Probably does, but also New Brownfells Utilities. Well, wow, that's interesting. A utility company in Texas. Nevada Bighorns Unlimited. No, it's none of those things. I want to say it's a Nokia product, but hey, there is net backup. Well, we've been encouraged to use just NB, which makes sense because we don't capitalize the U in net backup, just the N and the B. This has been your daily look into semantic stuff that is marginally interesting, but ultimately no one cares about. Hmm. So if you really want to know, someday I'll figure out what that NBU, yeah, it's a Nokia, they've also grabbed .NBU as a file format. Nokia backup, oh, interesting. I guess if we bought them, we could take it back. Never happened. I don't even know, does anyone use, I've never heard of the Nokia backup. Can't be as cool as net backup. I have so much to talk about. But anyway, the shower, I mean, it comes back to going to bed. And what really happened was last night, right after Inside the NBA ended, right about mm, 110, 115, about five minutes into the 
HBO boxing special that they bought some time on TNT for, which is kind of impressive. Those shows are always good. I, I never seem to watch them. But I was kind of watching this one because it happened to come on, and I was like, okay, I can watch this before I go to bed. No. Outside, boom! Giant boom, and all the power went out. So probably our transformer blew up. There's one on a pole out in the alley. I think it was that one. Because none of the street lights were affected, but I think the six or seven houses that were served by that thing went out. Although I don't know for sure. I would have thought I would have heard a truck uh, last night. But when the power finally did come back on about 10 to 5, of course I was out. But I mean, you go right to bed, what are you going to do? There's nothing to do. I mean, you could hop on your phone and use 4G instead of Wi-Fi, but do you need to be up that late? No, nobody needs to be up that late. And I'm not usually up that late, although the television's on, but I'm falling asleep to it. But it kind of ruined my whole routine. Plus, which you got to bump around in the dark. And it, you, you never realize how much ambient light you have around you until the power goes out, and then you realize it's just it's pitch black in there. And your eyes can adjust, but you really got to find your big old mag light. And I've got a big old 6D cell beat people over the head with a mag light in, uh, in orange. Or, or is it pewter? What's that, uh, what's that Buccaneers color? Not pewter, but the other one, the orangey one. Or is it pewter orange? Pewter's gray, right? Metallic? I don't know. Anyway, I have a big orange, five or six or seven. The biggest one I could find at Fry's at the time. And, man, you never have to change the batteries in that sucker, because then D-cells, they last forever, especially when you got that many of them. And it's bright, too, because I could shine it out, and it made the nice little beam to make sure that the transformer wasn't on fire. It wasn't. The reason this all happened was because it was raining. But it wasn't raining enough that you would have thought anything would have happened. It didn't have a lot of wind with it. It wasn't. There was some thunder and lightning, but nothing like, I don't think, lightning hit the transformer or anything. Fortunately, all our electronic stuff appeared to still be working when the power came back on. I'll know better tonight, I guess. Because really, when you're in a rush to get out of the house, you don't stop and make sure everything's still working. Although you do turn off all the lights that you forgot were on when you went to bed. I've wasted a lot of time, haven't I? That's okay. I only have one question from Doug, and I'm going to get to it. Doug thinks I need to bring back the ties in some form or another. Maybe hang a different one on the wall each week. That's an interesting idea. The ties are in a giant Rubbermaid rubber container. Uh, I want to say they're in the basement. They've been shuttled between the basement and the uh, attic so many times I forget where it is right now. I believe they're in the basement right now, though. I had to look for a black one for a funeral. And I, I think I gave up on finding it. I found, like, I, I eventually got to a point where I pulled one out and said, this is close enough, and wore that one instead. So I probably should just buy another black tie and put it upstairs. Maybe I did that already, and I forgot that I'd done it, and that's why I didn't find it in the basement. I don't know. That was a long time ago. I'll think about it. It, it is a crime to have so many interesting ties and not be able to show them off in some way. But wearing them just doesn't seem to be in the cards for me. If you were to occupy somewhere or something, where, what would you occupy? Uh, the recliner, the sofa, my bed. I do it daily. I'm not big on this occupy thing for many reasons, one of which is I'm too lazy to leave the house. I detect a lack of seasoning in the pasta in the banner. I married an Italian, I should know. Well, I grabbed that one from the inspired by a recipe that my wife made on Monday, which was supposed to be fusilli, but we didn't have any fusilli. But I believe the graphic I grabbed was fusilli. And I liked it because of the prominent placement of the strings of cheese in it. And you're right, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of seasoning in it. This recipe my wife had was actually pretty basic, and it didn't have a lot of seasoning either. It was tomatoes, uh, some sugar, and some butter. And I think that was it. And go figure. 
when all you have all those in the right amounts on pasta, it's delicious. I know. I'm as shocked as you are. My 10 minutes are up. Just as well. Otto didn't say anything. He must not have uh, been able to watch last night's. Or uh, he ran out of things to say. Hi, Otto. I haven't said hi to a lot of folks who probably are still, well, who probably gave up watching. But Adam, if you're watching, hello. Scott, hello. Uh, Cheryl, as always, appreciate it. Um, Susie, long gone, I'm sure. Uh, John, hello. That actually covers like six or seven people, so that'll be good. There are a lot of Johns watching. None of them who want to identify themselves in comments or to me. Okay. So uh, we're over the hump now. It's all downhill from here, baby. Long sleeves, gone. I guarantee it, especially if it's 80. So tune in tomorrow to see what crazy-ass short sleeve shirt I wear and what I'll come up with. Thanks for watching. See ya.